Hi everybody! Okay, so I'm here with my September favorites. It's already October. Insanity. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to go ahead and make this video really quick. I don't have a lot of things, but I do have a couple good things that I've been really enjoying. Not only the month of September, but the month of... What? <laughs> August, because I didn't make an August favorite, so I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Anyway, so let's just get right on to it. So there are a couple things I have been loving. If you hear some cute little moaning noises, it's my little girl. She's just looking at me right now. Yes. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you hear her talking? Oh. Okay. <laughs> so we'll do this real quick. First thing I've been loving for the last two months, or since I've got it, pretty much, this is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I just, this is such a great palette of neutrals. Um, it's just so easy to have out, and you could choose any kind of look from it. My favorites actually have been, I have it on right now, if you could tell. I like using Virgin, Sin, Naked. And then I use, you know, one of the darker browns in the crease. But I always like to use the Virgin and Sin um, on the inner corners and lids. And it just kind of gives me that bright eyed effect. So I've really been loving this. Um, definitely, definitely. I, you know, I have tons of neutrals. And I was, like, put off um, by buying this for the longest time. Because I thought I was very dupable. And, you know, what's the point? But I am actually really happy I purchased this. Because I use it. A lot like almost every day so it's a good purchase for me okay next is a mascara I've been really loving I want to try the new benefit you know their real one but I'm also tempted to buy a full size of this this is the hypnos drama it's just a travel size a sample I got by Lancome and the brush is really cool it's like kind of twisty <laughs> But it gives me really great volume, which is what I like um, with my lashes. I like a lot of volume. And it smells like rose water. It smells really good. I like it. Um, I've been using this. This little sample has lasted me a long time, like the last three months. So I might as well just go ahead and get a big size of it. Because I really like it. Or, or I don't know. Maybe I'll get the benefit one because I'm crazy and like to try all kinds of new stuff. Even if I have something that works really well because there's something wrong with me. <laughs> okay. Next is, um, now this is kind of a love-hate, but I wanted to show you this because I absolutely love the color. Um, I love the application of this, but I hate the wear of it. This is the Butter London Yummy Mummy. It's just a beautiful, uh, kind of beigey taupe color. It looks gorgeous on it. You know, it's opaque and like one coat. Um, but the wear on this is horrible. All of the Butter London polishes I've tried, like, they chip and wear, like, the next day. It's just horrible for a $14 nail polish to be chipping and having tip wear on the next day is just unacceptable. Unacceptable. Excuse me, can't speak. So if you know of a color that is similar to this, um, that has better wear time and doesn't chip, then let me know. But I, I love the color, so it's like a love-hate relationship with it. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, last two items, I believe, yeah. Um, this one is an oldie but a goodie. This is Black Track Fluid Line from MAC. This is a brand new one, and I think the reason why I stopped using this is because my old one uh, ran out, got dry, and didn't apply so nicely, but a new pot, and it's amazing. I have it on today. It's just stark black and easy application. It glides right over. I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> last but not least, this is actually a new product I've tried from the drugstore. It's the Maybelline. It's the Instant Age Rewind um, Concealer. <laughs> oh, the one side has, it was in a different language. I'm like, I can't read this. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment and Concealer. Um, but what it does is, it's obviously a concealer, but it's also a treatment at the same time, so it helps decrease puffiness. And I find the coverage on this is really good. I really like it. In fact, I got the color 20 Light Pale. It's a little light for me. I maybe should have went with a medium, but it's still good. It's good for underneath the eyes and brightening up under there. Okay, and let's see here. That's all my favorites. Let me grab my little girl real quick. Come here, princess. 
And of course, as always, my children are big favorites. Say hi! <gasps> she sees the light. She's like, whoa, those are very bright. Anyways, here is Ella. Um, I will do a updated vlog video with both her and Ryan. They are a lot of fun. <laughs> trying to get her to look at the camera but she sees the lights and those are pretty fascinating because they are pink and bright. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you guys made a August, well not August, if you made a September favorites, go ahead and post it below. I'd love to see what you guys are loving and um, if not, tell me in the comments what your favorites are and y'all take care. Say bye. Bye bye. Look. I say bye Ella. <laughs> and, oh, nope, she won't see herself. Anyways, say take care. <laughs> Bye.